In times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, with Mars returned, I hardly know where to start. Where is she? Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to... Secure the camp! Seems they have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. Guardian, Eris and I are establishing hidden operations near the cradle. What's your location? We're in some kind of crop field. What you see is a window into the Golden Age. Mars has returned with temporal instabilities, and Savathun's presence here is no coincidence. We believe the reappearance of Mars drove her out of hiding, and our intel says she may be in a weakened state. The Cabal fleet is blocking the flight path onto her ship. We need you to find a way to get up there and track Savathun down. This may be our only chance to strike. Ikora, we made it onto the ship, and we're seeing traces of void light. Seems like maybe another Guardian got up here first. That's impossible. Perhaps we've acted too hastily. There are too many unknowns. Savathun is the god of coming. To wait for a moment when her intentions are clear... We would wait forever. Not forever. Just until we can provide backup. Guardian, Eris and I are pinned down. If you turn back now, it'll give us more time to plan. I don't think Sabathun will give us free time, Ikora. This might be our only shot. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Be careful. That statue doesn't look hive. I've never seen anything like it. Looks like pyramid technology. What's it doing on Savathun's ship? We should bring it back to Ikora. That was Savathun. Hurry! Way. That thing is not like me. You see that, right?
I... I can't believe this. We have to keep going. Oh, Traveler, what has she done to you? You're strong. That was too easy. It did seem too easy, didn't it? Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Savathun's throne world. I know, we should have checked in. But we had Savathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her, and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. That's not like Savathun, to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's... something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights, and it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Savathun stole the light. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible? With Savathun, nothing is impossible. Savathun, the Witch Queen, Hive God of Cunning and Lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the Vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Hey, you know, get awkward out of the way first, I always say. This, uh... Pile of ash and bone. Oh, used to be my. Uh... Actually, don't worry about it. All you need to know, us wandering ghosts gave into the hive, believing we'd found purpose. And well, peer pressure is a hell of a thing. Huh? Also, because it's what the traveler must have wanted. Yeah. Then hive killed guardians with light, and you think that's the traveler's will, really? Tell you what, I don't buy it. Not anymore. The Witch Queen's up to something. And, you know, maybe together we get to the bottom of it, huh? There's an old hive temple nearby with Savathun's secrets inside. That is all I know. The what and the why? That's your game, yeah? And when you get there, radio me. Private channels only. Oh! Almost forgot. The name's Finch. We must control these ships. We've never seen a pilot. In her journeys beyond the Heliopause, Queen Morisov encountered the entity that commands the pyramids. 
She said its mind spoke louder than any other she has ever heard. A cacophony of thought. Perhaps those voices steer these ships. One of those voices spoke to you in the Black Garden as well. Sagira's shell would start us in the right direction. I knew it! Okay, here's the tip. Ever heard of Oryx? The Taken King? Savathun's brother? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Savathun's got a temple dedicated to him. I, I, look, I know what you're thinking. Who cares, right? But we found Sagira's shell in a temple dedicated to the sister, Zivu. Imagine what we could find in Oryx's temple. Finch, you were right. We found something. It's a piece of the Tablets of Ruin. The Tablets Oryx used to create Taken. I was right. I was right. I knew it. I knew the Taken were involved somehow. Alak Hul's ghost got away. It just left his body here. Uh, contingency plan. They're learning. I'm trying to stay a step ahead of you. But you got the Tablet. That's the important part. That gets us one step closer to taking down the Witch Queen. I will never be the Taken Queen. I refuse to play second fiddle to my brother Oryx. When Oryx carved the Tablets of Ruin, he described the ability to create the Taken. But Oryx's chisel was affected by viral power from the deep. I studied its vermicular path. I read between the lines. The Tablets hide a riddle. The answer to this riddle is something greater than the power to take. It is the power of the witness to move worlds from one reality to another. This is what I will do. I will not take. I will give. I will grant the Traveler a safe haven away from its enemies. And once it hangs in the sky of my throne world, I will seal it away. It's not the darkness that's responsible for the planet's mass abduction, but an entity behind it. The Witness. And it seems I might be the one responsible for Savathun's theft of the light. I won't lie. I... anticipated this. After all, I was the one who welcomed her into the tower. Who gave her access to the Vanguard Archives. And now, humanity is at risk of losing the Traveler to the Hive. If I truly am to blame here, I need to know. Before Savathun gets her claws anywhere near the Traveler. Your friend Finch has been in touch with a new lead. I'm not so sure about this one. But right now, we can't afford any hesitation. Connect with him in the throne world. Find the answers we need. 
no matter what it takes. So, that's the temple Sabathun dedicated to herself. It's... It's quite a sight, isn't it? Can't accuse Sabathun of being too humble. I didn't keep anything from you, Zavala. Not intentionally. I couldn't fill you in on every minute detail. When it comes to Savathun, no detail is too small. You know that better than anyone. Which is why I made some judgment calls without you. As you do without me. Not on a matter like this! Ah. Uh, Guardian. We can discuss this more later. My point, Ikora, is that we are meant to be a team. We can't rely on your instincts alone. Perhaps I can't rely on them at all. The way this investigation is going, it's clear my judgment has been compromised. I should step back. Let you and Eris handle this. As a team. Cora's instincts are the only reason we've come so close to the truth. This new lead puts it firmly within our grasp. All right, then. You and the Guardian follow up. Keep me posted. A trusted source has informed us of new evidence. A memento from Savathun's last known location before her conversion to the Light. It's kept deep within her fortress, a difficult place to reach. But we have no other options. Go there, and I'll be in touch. I saw the end before it happened. My own death. Brought on by the separation from my power. And in these final moments, I look to the sky. Hello, old friend. I've chased you for a long time. First as an enemy, then as a collector. And finally, now, a supplicant. What is it the Guardians say? Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. And sacrifice...
incredible that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start. But if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait. What is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave. So, you're saying Savathun was dead? Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, was dead. And the Traveler resurrected her? I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with the Light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. Where it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the Light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Savathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Savathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light, along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right. How do we stop this? I'm not sure yet, but I know where to find out. Hive legend tells us Savathun was born on a far-off planet, where she would have lived an uneventful life if it weren't for her worm familiar. The object you retrieved from the underbelly of the throne world. What if it's not a statue? What if it's the worm familiar itself, calcified from age? That would explain why you couldn't unlock it with the others. That also means it contains a memory that Savathun herself doesn't know. What that is? We're going to find out, with the one tool we have capable of slicing deep into the past. It'll be risky using the relic this way, which is why I'll be taking this on myself. Eris will help me prepare. Meet us on Mars when you're ready. This is how we stop Savathun Guardian. I know it.
these frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first, we will tell the most cunning sibling of a cataclysm, a prophecy of great loss. We will feed her fear, her pride. We will say, Young Sathona, the end is coming. A great cataclysm. A god wave. In the sky, there is only death. But salvation lies in the deep. Lead your sisters down. Your coming will spare their short lives. And you will be reborn. The Witch Queen. Salathun. They were tricked. The Hive were lied to. The Hive God of Lies was lied to. This changes everything. Well, not everything. We still can't let Salvathun seal the Traveler away. The ritual's already begun. We need to move fast. Salvathun may be one of the Traveler's chosen by rights, but she's still leaning on tricks she learned from the Witness. Take the Familiar to Salvathun's fortress. I'll follow as soon as I'm recovered. Wait until you're in the heart of the ritual, then unleash the memory. That should be enough to destabilize things and break her hold on the Traveler. Remember, Guardian, Salvathun's strategy rests on knowing more than anyone else, on her ability to twist lies and cast confusion. But now, we can turn the tables on her. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first. What is this? How did you... We will tell the most cunning sibling of the cataclysm. A prophecy of great loss. No. No, that's not what happened. The Traveler never came to us. We were forced to choose the Deep. How could I have missed this? So now you want to play games? Then let's play! This is interesting. I miscalculated. So did you, Guardian. So protective of your traveler that you wouldn't let me keep it safe. But the witness is coming. The game is yours to play now. Yours to win or lose. Just don't say, I didn't warn you. No, 
Where did her ghost go? Guardian, I just got the message. The Traveler is back in the last city. Is it done? Is Salvathun... She's dead. But her ghost got away. Good enough. Hold your position. The Hidden are coming to secure the remains. Good work, Guardian. You did the right thing. Now what? Now, we prepare for the witness and stop the next clue. The very parasite that once plagued the Witch Queen herself. Queen Mara, good to see you. Do not delay us with pleasantries. This parasite knocks at death's door. What use do we have for Savathun's dying worm? This parasite is an opportunity to learn from humanity's greatest failure. Our collapse. But not ours alone. That day was as much a failure for the wit. Are you okay? I'm fine. As I said, our collapse was as much a failure for the witness and its followers. Sabathun included. Sabathun was there? On behalf of the witness. But something prevented humanity's end. Something known by Savathun and... Her worm. It requires strength and a new host to survive, to divulge its secrets. But that's a death sentence. For most, yes. But for the Queen of the Awoken? It's worth the risk. <laughs> 